In this video we are showing you how easy it is to cast our latest Easter decorations. We are going to be using our solder melting pot, as it is perfect for getting superb castings. We first turned up the dial all the way to melt the metal and left the ladle in the pot to keep it at the same temperature. Next we apply talcum powder all over the surface area of the moulds. This lets air escape and stops the metal from sticking to the mould. Gently but firmly clap the mould halves together before assembly to remove any excess. Apply the support boards and clamps. We only need two per mould. Again we do the other mould the same way. Add the clamps to about midway up the moulds. Do not clamp in the centre. Test the metal with our stirrer stick. It should emit some light smoke if it's at the right temperature. Turn down the dial on the pot to 4.5, about halfway, to keep the metal hot but not overheated. Then use the ladle to scoop up some clean metal and rest the ladle on the mould and quickly pour into the hole right up to the top. It is beneficial to tap the mould with something solid, like this brass brush, as you pour into the mould to remove air pockets. Leave for about 5 minutes to cool before opening it. Unassemble the mould and gently open the mould halves to reveal the casting inside. As you can see the castings have come out perfectly. All the normally difficult areas, like the beaks of the chickens, are sharp. Carefully remove the figure from the rubber and you can use your super snipper to clip off the ingates, which you can remelt later. The thin parts are far cooler to touch than the thick ingates, so handle with care. You can remove the hoop if desired too and give a quick file to smoothen the edges. The figures are really shiny and crisply detailed. I hope you enjoyed this video. More details can be found on our website, princeaugust.ie.